Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Welcome to the 215th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, and Happy Thanksgiving. All right, so to start off, there's actually a lot I wanna talk about in this week's episode, but I'm going to try to keep it more condensed than usual, and that can mostly be attributed to a number of changes I'm working on implementing into my channel, which I actually mentioned in last week's episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. The first one, most of you may have already noticed at this point, if you've watched my past two videos that I've uploaded since the last episode in this series, I've actually started recording in full Ultra HD or 4K, and this video is also in 4K, so big thumbs up for that, and with that, that said, in today's episode, I'm going to be discussing not only Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals following Thanksgiving, but also iOS 8.1, 8.1.1 and 8.2 beta 1. All sorts of iOS 8 updates, details pertaining to jailbreaking, as well as downgrading from iOS 8.1.1. So with that said, I'm actually going to include annotations on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube to kind of skip around throughout this video, depending on which segment you want to watch. First of all, I'm going to talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, then we're going to transition into iOS and jailbreaking, and something else that I'm actually pretty excited about that I'll get to later. So again, just be sure to reference the annotations to actually skip around throughout this video. And I'm also holding an all new giveaway, a brand new Cydia tweak that kind of reimagines multitasking on iOS 8. It's called App Heads. It's normally $4.99 inside of Cydia. Again, it is a premium tweak. I detailed it in one of my recent videos. And in that video, I actually announced an all new giveaway where I'm giving away free copies of App Heads in collaboration with the developer of the tweak himself. And to enter, all you have to do is rate this video up and there will be a additional information on how to gain entries more toward the end of this video, so just be sure to stick around for that. All right, and starting off, first and foremost, we're going to go over Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, and I'm going to have a few links down below in the more info on Amazon, and I'm also going to have even more links on the corresponding article for this video on Best Tech Info, so just be sure to check that out, and you can actually find that article linked to down below as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight on into it with some of the best deals. First and foremost, I will have a link to everything related to tech that's on sale and discounted for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. The deals again should last to the beginning of next week, which will be Cyber Monday. And in addition to that link, which has every single tech deal on sale on Amazon, uh, first we have a new $459, normally $700 Ultra HD or 4K 28 inch Samsung monitor. Now guys, this is an absolutely incredible deal. I'm actually planning on getting one myself, at least just to test out. There are a few 4K monitors currently out and I've done some research on them and this appears to be the best at least right now. So I definitely recommend jumping into it if you're interested in 4K. It's an absolutely great deal and you won't be able to find better anytime soon. So take advantage of this offer. It will last until Monday. Next up on the topic of 4K, we have another incredible deal on a 40 inch 4K Samsung 60 Hertz TV. It's ultra HD again, like the monitor and it's only $500. $97.99. And I say only because that's actually an incredible deal on a 4K 40 inch TV. If you guys want even better deals, you can check out some of the 1080p TVs that are on Amazon that I will have linked to below as well. And next up we have the gamer. So massive Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC tech savings can be found on that dedicated page. And then we have the holiday tech guide, which is comprised of absolutely everything related to tech, some of which may be on sale while others won't, but everything's absolutely awesome that's listed there. Again, we have everything from SSDs and consoles to computers and 4K displays. And speaking of 4K, there are other awesome deals up to 45% off of select 4K TVs and streaming boxes and Blu-ray players for under $99. In fact, there's even one Blu-ray player that's as low as $47.99, which is absolutely awesome for high quality media playback. And then of course I will link you guys to Amazon's typical lightning deals that they hold every Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday. Again, dubbed lightning deals. They're various products that are significantly discounted and they're only available in a limited quantity for a limited time and they're constantly changing. So be sure to check out Amazon's lightning deals. I will have a direct link for you guys for massive savings in tech and really everything. Also for Kindle deals, you can save up to $30 on a regular Kindle and a Kindle Fire HD7. And there are also other savings on some of the various models there. And then you can find minor savings on the iPad Air 2 and a few Mac models, including the 5K iMac with Retina display. Again though, 
only minor savings in the Apple products with the premium retail pricing. And if you have yet to get an iPad Air 2, I absolutely recommend doing so because I really love it. It's probably one of my favorite Apple products and I end up using it more on a daily basis than even my iPhone 6 Plus. It's incredibly fast and fluid with its tri-core A8 processor and two gigabytes of RAM. Again, get it now on Amazon while it's on sale. Just check it out on amazon.com. And now moving on, let's discuss the current jailbreak situation. So as it stands right now, you can jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1 completely untethered on all iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models. So if you have yet to jailbreak, definitely do so now. I really recommend it. There's so many great tweaks that you can take advantage of. In fact, recently, since the last episode in this series, I posted an all new video covering eight of my favorite free tweaks currently available inside of Cydia for jailbroken devices on iOS 8. Don't miss that. And actually, in addition to that, I created another video on what I consider to be one of the best multitasking tweaks specifically tailored for iOS 8 and jailbroken devices. Again, being app heads, which I also announced a giveaway for. So be sure to check out those two videos if you're looking for a reason to jailbreak or to even stay jailbroken. And again, as of now, you can jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1. Follow my in-depth untethered jailbreak tutorial. There's a one-click guide for both PC and Mac OS X users. So be sure to check out those two videos, again, depending on which type of computer you own, whether it's a Mac or a Windows-based PC. And also, iOS 8 8.1.1 does patch the vulnerabilities Pangu exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak in their latest Pangu for iOS 8 jailbreak utility, which again only functions on firmwares up to iOS 8.1. So keep in mind, if you do update to iOS 8.1.1, you will not be able to take advantage of Pangu to jailbreak untethered. That's absolutely paramount. And at this point, you may be asking, well, if I can't jailbreak 8.1.1, can I then downgrade to 8.1? And the answer, depending on when you watch this video, will either be yes or it'll be no. And let me back up a second. In last week's episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, I actually detailed a downgrading process from iOS 8.1.1. That's still relevant and it still applies today as of recording this video and publishing it, but it might not. It could change at any second. And it's crucial to understand that Apple has to sign a specific firmware for a device to restore to it. And Apple signs different firmwares depending on the device. For instance, for the iPhone 4, Apple's still signing iOS 7.1.2 because that's the latest firmware that that device can upgrade to. It was left out of support in iOS 8 and other devices that can upgrade to iOS 8. The latest firmware that's currently being signed is iOS 8.1.1 and actually 8.1 as well. However, Apple could change their minds and stop signing 8.1 at any given time, which I definitely expect they'll do in the foreseeable future, possibly sometime this coming week. So if you want to downgrade, make sure you do so now. It's incredibly easy to do so, but when Apple actually stops signing iOS 8.1. There will be annotations on the screen now to skip forward because the rest of what I say in this week's episode will become irrelevant at that point because you won't be able to downgrade again once Apple stops signing it. So with that said, the downgrade process is incredibly easy. And if you're already on a firmware that's lower than iOS 8, or let's say maybe you're on iOS 8.0 or 7.1.2 and your device can upgrade to iOS 8, then you will be able to just do a straight shot from whatever firmware you're currently on to 8.1 without having to downgrade from 8.1.1. So what you're going to have to do first is download the corresponding iOS 8.1 IPSW for your device. And an IPSW is just a firmware file. So don't get confused by the terminology. And I will have a link that contains another website linked to with all of the IPSWs for you guys to conveniently and quickly download on the corresponding post for this video on Best Tech Info. So just be sure to check out that post. Again, it's the first link down below in the more info. And once you go there, you will be able to find all of the IPSWs for iOS 8.1. And once you have it downloaded for your specific device, what you're going to do is plug your device into your computer via standard USB cable. Once you've done that, launch iTunes and then enter recovery mode simply by holding down the home and power buttons together on your device until you see the iTunes restore logo pop up on your device's display. From there, depending on which computer you're on, it will be a different key that you'll have to press. So if you're on Windows, hold down the shift key. Whereas if you're on Mac OS X or OS X, then you're going to hold down the option or alt key. And then you're going to left click the restore button. And from there, it will bring 
up a box for you to browse for your iOS 8.1 IPSW, select it, and then the restore should proceed. If you receive any type of error message, it's either because you downloaded the wrong IPSW or because Apple isn't signing iOS 8.1, they're no longer signing it. And if that's the case, again, there will be an annotation on the screen now. So that's just one more reason for you guys to view this video on the desktop version of YouTube. So you can check to see immediately whether or not Apple is still signing iOS 8.1. And with that said, we actually have some great news for the future of jailbreaking. So kind of transitioning into the next topic from downgrading after I helped you downgrade from iOS 8.1.1, we have an all new untethered jailbreak that was actually achieved on iOS 8.1.1 by I Hate Snow. Now, before you get too excited, keep in mind that this doesn't mean a release is imminent. It actually just means that the future of jailbreaking is looking incredibly bright. So for some background information, I Hate Snow, in collaboration with another developer, created a non-boot ROM based jailbreak for older devices that utilize Apple's 30 pin connector. So not the lightning connector. So only the iPhone 4, iPad 2, and iPad 3 or third generation iPad are currently supported by I Hate Snow's latest achievement. And the reason why it's exclusive to those devices, at least for now, is because of no serial over lightning, which is actually required for the jailbreak to function, at least what they have so far. I Hate Snow said that after he finishes some school related tasks that he will apply what he's discovered thus far to the first beta iteration of iOS 8.2 for a potential release after Apple issues that firmware. So again, that's in the distant future. As of now, iOS 8.1.1 is too minor of a release to warrant the use of additional vulnerabilities that could otherwise be saved for the next major firmware, again, being iOS 8.2. So it really depends. Nothing may come of I Hate Snow's latest achievement, or it could be the exact opposite, and we could see a new untethered iOS 8 jailbreak utility come from this latest discovery. And of course, if you guys want additional information on that, I will have my video linked to down below in the more info. It goes completely into depth on the topic. And actually, speaking of iOS 8.2, recently, last week, Apple issued the first developer release of iOS 8.2, being 8.2 Beta 1. And it actually doesn't include much as far as changes are concerned, and the primary reason for that is because Apple wanted to issue the firmware with basic Apple Watch implementation so that way developers can get their Apple Watch app started right now prior to the release, which again will be sometime in quote early 2015, at least according to Apple. As of now, we still have absolutely no clue when the Apple Watch will hit market, but depending on when iOS 8.2 is released, it will be again sometime in early 2015. And we should see 8.2 alongside the forthcoming Apple Watch. Again, I will keep you guys completely updated on the jailbreak status as it unfolds along the way and also related to iOS 8.2 and the Apple Watch. So just be sure to hit that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to do so to be notified more often, especially when I release videos covering jailbreaking and iOS related topics. And now finally, before we conclude an all new trailer, it's a teaser trailer, for Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens was recently published. I'm incredibly excited for it. The trailer looks absolutely awesome, at least in my opinion. Keep in mind when watching it though that it's just a teaser trailer and that the actual final movie won't be released until December of 2015 so they still likely have a ways to go post filming. So just be sure to let me know what you guys think about Star Wars Episode 7 and this latest teaser trailer down below in the comment section after having watched it. Of course I will include a link for you guys in the more info as well to that. All right, and that kind of wraps up everything I wanted to discuss in this week's episode. Again, I have some awesome changes planned for my channel, so just be sure to stay tuned for those. And if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash getfreeapplife or just freeapplife.com inside of Mobile Safari. And if you're on iOS 8, after tapping download, press the home button, open the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, I hope you guys like this video and to enter to win your own copy of App Heads, one of the best multitasking tweaks available for jailbroken devices on iOS 8 through 8.1, all you have to do is rate this video up and then leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section with your city ID. If you don't know how to obtain your city 
the ID. It's incredibly simple. All you have to do is launch Cydia, tap on the manage account option, and then sign in either through Facebook or your Google account. And then it will include your Cydia ID right there at the bottom and include that in a comment on either this video or my coverage on the app heads tweak itself, as you'll be able to gain double entries that way by commenting on both videos. All right, now that really is everything for the 215th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering everything from jailbreaking to Apple Watch related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me over your circles inside of Google Plus, follow me on Instagram at ICUID and subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.